Hi, my name is Tariq Ali. I'm 24 and I recently went through a breakup. And not just any breakup, the kind of breakup that has you looking like this. Yup, that's me crying. Look at me, looking miserable. Not to mention, I had just got a new apartment with a lot of space and it was just me. I was depressed, lonely, and I was craving companionship. So what did I do? I did what everybody does when they don't feel good. I went to Google. And no, this is not sponsored. That's just what everybody does. You know, when they get sick and stuff. Okay, I don't need to explain that. But yeah, I went to Google. Meet my baby. Meet my baby, guys. Say hey. Hey, guys. So, this is Graf. I mean, I'm, I've been with Graf for a while now, but I'm just now sharing, so I'm like, <laughs> say hi, Graffy. Say hi. But anyways, what's up? It's your boy Tariq Ali, and welcome back to your boy's channel. How you doing? How you feeling? How you doing? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm in a good mood, as you can see. Um, I'm just really having a good day. I was really intentional this morning. I woke up, meditated, connected with myself, my inner child. Um, and yeah, I'm just feeling really good. But this video is about my new puppy, okay? It's because his name is McGrath, okay? He, he is named after Pat McGrath. I'm gonna get a little bit more into that later, but he is a breakup dog. So <laughs> I don't even know if that's a thing. I made it a thing because when I got him, I felt like one of those like those people that get out of a relationship, they're really sad and they get like cats or a dog or something or a new hobby, you know. This girl I never painted in her life and now she's taking painting classes, she's trying to find herself. You know, that's that's what <laughs> that's what he is, okay? He is a breakup dog. I got him like like y'all like I've told you guys, I went through a breakup like three and a half or three months ago. Um and I was in a very dark place and Oh, am I starting the video without starting the video? Hey, let's get right into it. I don't care. Um, let me let me first just introduce him as a per not as a person as a dog. His name is McGrath. Okay, he's named after Pat McGrath. Um, if you don't know who Pat McGrath is, then that's so sad. Um, you should know who Pat McGrath is. But Pat McGrath is one of the most famous and the biggest um, makeup artists in the world. She was the first black woman to generate a billion dollars in revenue from her makeup company. Pat McGrath, Google it if you don't know who Pat McGrath is. But the reason that he's named McGrath is because when I first saw him, his eyes, he reminded me of this famous Pat McGrath makeup look uh, with the feathers on the eyes. It reminded me of this instantly and I was like, McGrath. That's such like a nice regal sounding name. And it's also like a like a pet name. And I was like, ooh, I like names that like generate a lot of different nicknames that you can use. I call him Graffy and Graff. He is a golden doodle F1B. So what that pretty much means is he is a golden retriever mixed with a poodle, but because he's an F1B, that's the generation. He is pretty much 75% poodle, 25% golden retriever. His dad is a toy poodle. His mom is a golden doodle. So he's more poodle than golden retriever. So yes, I did get him from a breeder. He is not a rescue. I understand, save the dogs. I'm always here to support getting a rescue. But I want multiple dogs. I don't just want one dog. But um, I knew for sure I wanted the Golden Doodle because of the non-shedding. I wanted my first, this is my first time being a real pet parent. Um, I grew up with dogs, but okay. I just know growing up, the way that I've seen dogs be treated and the community that I was in, Dogs were, you, you fed it, you gave it food and water, and you put it in the backyard and you let it in the house until it got on your nerves. Like, we didn't take the dog to the vet, unless like he was like extremely sick, but that never really happened. But like, you never took your dog to the vet, your pet did not have insurance, girl, he was not going to the groomers, girl. It was not giving that, girl. A dog was, enjoy the dog until you can no more. Like, if it got sick, it just got sick, girl. Um, and I'm saying this to say that I, I'd never really experienced a household or life where dogs were taken care of so gent like as they should be taken care of. And so I went into this, like I was doing a lot of research months before getting a dog, researching golden doodles. You see him? You see him? Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Cause I read up on you. I'm just saying that I wanted, I wanted to be a real, real good parent to my baby 
because I really look at him as my baby and I wanted to make sure I had time. Um, and I knew that with the dog that I wanted, I didn't want no slobbing. I don't like when dogs slob on me because I grew up with pit bulls and we all, I also had a, a King Corso, like di different types of dogs like that, like bigger dogs, the slobbing and then the shedding and then people be allergic. I didn't want none of that. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to go to Noodle and because I love their curly coat and their long legs. I just love the way they look. But I say all this to say, like I was saying, I want to have multiple dogs. And I knew that the first one I wanted to go to Noodle and then after that, I was like, I'm gonna get a rescue. Oh, another good fact. We have the same birthday. I'm not making that up. Like I'm not making that up. When I was asking the breeder um, about everything and they were like, oh, we don't have any puppies. And I kept asking and asking, I asked, please, 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 do you have a puppy? And she was like, actually, we do have this one puppy, um, but he's available for pickup this weekend if you're available. And his litter was born on November 11th. I said, oh. This is God. I really thought it was a sign. The breeder that I was using, they were very, very thorough. You had to do an application. They asked about your house. Are you gonna be able to take care of this dog? Like it was, I could tell this breeder really cared. I um, mean, even they, they keep up with you afterwards and give you help, give you tools to, babe, no. These pants are expensive and you don't work, okay? <laughs> You should see the way he's looking at me. So yeah, but getting back to the point of the video and like the title of this video, um, he's a breakup dog. So after my breakup, um, that was my very first time being in love. And I think I'm gonna do a separate video actually talking about my breakup. I think I'm in a really good place now to talk about it and to you know, be honest and to help people. Um, Cause it's way more than just a relationship and boyfriend love, all of that. Like it's, it, when you're in that much of love, like you tap these, these traumas inside of you that real deep, but anyways, after my breakup, I was really, really, really depressed. Um, and I was really sad um, because I'm not that close with my parents. Um, if you watch my channel, then you know you saw those videos of me with me and my dad coming out to my dad. That was my biggest video on my channel. Um, but we're not close. Um, and I haven't talked to him in a while. But without getting into that, um, I just never, I just always had this depression because um, I was juggling through homes, I was homeless. And I just never got the love that I wanted from my mom and my dad. And so when my aunt and uncle took me in when I was 15, um, I started placing that expectation on them um, just because I wanted that love. I needed somebody to love me that closely and that, that hard. Um, and so when I left my aunt and uncle, because they, they, they got me when I was 15 and then I went to college. So they only had a couple years. And then even after that, I was still putting that responsibility and expectation on them. And so when I got in a relationship, it became extremely trauma bonding and codependent in a way where I was expect, like he was filling that hole that I always needed my parents to fill. So when we broke up, I experienced a depression um, like I did when I was abandoned by my parents and I was like, you know, homeless and juggled around homes. So it was really triggering for me. And I, for the first time, realized that I needed to grieve um, so much. Um, but I was yearning so much for companionship because something that I loved in my relationship that I felt like I never felt growing up was, I wanted to feel like someone's priority and someone's like, you need me. You know, I just never felt needed. I talked to my therapist about it and um, I just knew that a dog was perfect because he need me and I need him. <laughs> We're both gonna just pour into each other and love each other because that's all he wants. That's all he wants is to eat, <laughs> drink, play, and be touched in love. And same, sis, same, crab legs and love. That's all I want. Even before getting him, I was having a very, very rough time. Even the week, the week I did get him was one of the darkest weeks I had had in a very long time. And 15 minutes before I met with, you know, the people that brought him to me, um, I was like in tears. I just felt so alone. And he, when he came, I didn't feel too, too alone anymore. Like in the mornings when, you know, when you wake up, that's usually when you feel the most depressed, right? Like you wake up and you feel so heavy. Um, and to have somebody need me, like to want me, to lick me, like, come on, like, come on. And I was like, oh, wow, you need me. I don't know, it was very healing. And my depression was getting to the point where I, I didn't want to get out of bed. I was just like not working. I was just, whew, I, I, it was a depression. <laughs> it, was, it was depression. I was like, I don't, I don't think I need to describe depression. Um, but getting him, I will say it helped me in a way where it, it, didn't, it did force me to get out of bed. I just don't like the word force. But having someone depending on me um, and pouring into me and loving me and just wanting to lick me and be, play with me, look at him. Um, like in the mornings, I'm like, oh, I do have to get up because I have to take him out. I have responsibility now. And I think having that responsibility and a responsibility that comes with love and, not, and you, you know, like 
it, it, it was healthy for me and it got me out the bed. It helped me. I just knew I needed love. Um, the long story short is I really needed love. Yeah, okay. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I just know I really needed love and I wasn't getting a lot. I just... It's always this toy. This toy. Can you bite the other side, babe? But yeah, I just know I really, I can't even get this in style. I really needed love and I got a dog to give me that love, okay? And it's really helpful, so I would encourage anybody going through a rough time, get you a puppy. So, I didn't come here to talk too long about it, but I did want to just open you up to my new baby because I love him so much and you're gonna see him a lot and people was like, you didn't tell us you got a puppy? I was like, I didn't know this was like a huge grand thing, like having a baby, but hey, it is. It is. You're gonna meet my kids, brother. You're gonna meet my kids. Y'all wanna see his crate and everything? Let me show you, hold on. We gonna, we gonna go to his crate, come on. Come on. Why are you looking at me crazy? Okay, come on. Come on, baby. He needs to eat too, so this is perfect. Come on. So I trained him myself. Um, training is actually not that hard, y'all. Like, I'm gonna put this lady in the description who is the best. I watched all her videos. She taught me everything I know. Like, everything I know. She is the reason that he is trained. Like, watch this. Sit. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Good boy. I'll get you a treat. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Sorry, there's a lot going on in my house right now. But, so this is his little area. I am such a parent, he has taken over the living room. Um, I give him this entire backspace, and the reason I have him in a living room and not any of the other rooms is because, I mean, I can work in here, like, you know, I'm a writer, so I write in here, and he's right there, and this has helped with the separation anxiety, because like, I, like I'm not with you all the time. Like, sometimes I, he likes his crate and everything. Um, he plays in there. Um, and so with him, like I keep the gate open. You see the gate is open. He goes into there voluntarily and he enjoys it himself. And sometimes I'll close it while I'm working so he could see that I will not always be by your side. I cannot always play with you. You do need to learn how to play with yourself. Different things like that. The person who I'm gonna put in the description has helped me so much with that. But you see how he just went in there. Um, but yeah, this is his cute little crate area. I'm gonna put all of what I used and where I got everything in the description so you can pick it up if you need it. He's at that part in his puppyhood where he's just destructive. Like he was not, he was not this destructive like when he was like younger. I don't know, he didn't play as much, he was a baby. He didn't play as much, he wasn't destructive, but now he's starting to bite cords, bite my shoes before he would walk right past him. So he's at that stage and now he's just like, like doing that with his food. I don't know what, I don't know why he's doing it, but uh, he's a baby, so you do, you do need to eat. Um, he's drinking crate. He 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 knows crate. Um, wait, I want you to, I want you to see him do it better. Come here, come on. Sit. Oh, let me get my treats. Sit. Good boy. Good. I said sit. 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 Grab. That's down. That's not sit. You know better. Come on. Anyways, that's me and my baby. Say hi, baby. Ooh, 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 what's going on? Say hi, Graf. Say bye, Graf. We gotta say bye.
Ooh, it look like you in jail, girl. I don't like that. That's triggering. Come on. Let's get you out and give a proper goodbye. That's my baby. Say bye. Ow. Stop. No bite, baby. He's starting to bite. He didn't bite before. Say bye, baby. So thank you guys for watching. I love you. This is me and Grath. Now you gotta go eat. Come on, cause you need to eat. Take your ass, crate. Crate, come on. Come on. Yup. Mm-hmm. You know where to go. Come on. Crate. Good boy. Good boy.